This morning, we hear from two women who say they were victims of a wave of child abuse by Roman Catholic church leaders in Baltimore. The Maryland Attorney General's Office reviewed Archdiocese records from the 1940s through 2002. It found more than 600 children were abused and at least 156 people were accused of abusing them. Nikki Batiste spoke with two women who say they were sexually assaulted as teenagers by a priest. And we want to warn you, some of the details here are disturbing. For more than 50 years, Teresa Lancaster wanted the Catholic Church to believe her. Lancaster claimed that she was sexually abused by Father Joseph Maskell at her high school in Baltimore. I was 16 years old and I went to see Father Maskell for some help and within the first five minutes, he took all my clothes off and set me on his lap. What were you thinking in that moment? I was in total shock. Maskell was a priest who served as her school's counselor and chaplain. Did you ever report your alleged sexual abuse? Not at that time because he had a gun. He would put up on his desk and he told me that no one's going to believe you. I remember being raped by Maskell. Jean Hargadon Wainer says she was also abused by Maskell at the same Catholic school. He was in this pattern of manipulating, controlling, and so at a certain point, all you do is what it is that you know will make him happy. That's not going to make him mad. Wainer says she reported her alleged abuse to the Baltimore Archdiocese in these handwritten statements in 1992. She says she was told no one had ever complained about Maskell before. In the nearly 500-page report, Father Maskell is accused of sexually abusing 39 people. According to the Maryland Attorney General's investigation, some parishes had multiple alleged abusers, including one with 11 over a 40-year period. It was appalling. It was horrific abuse. Maryland Attorney General Anthony Brown issued the report. For many, it ruined their lives, their families. And as disturbing, uh, we found a uh, extensive cover-up uh, in an effort to conceal the abuse that was happening the current Baltimore Archbishop gave an apology, calling the abuse evil and another painful reminder of the failings in the church's past. That was Nikki Batiste reporting. Father Maskell denied the allegations for years, and now he and many others have died or are beyond the criminal statute of limitations. When Nikki spoke with Wayner and Lancaster, they said this report at least offers some validation.